Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by English Mountain Spring Water, bubbling up from a natural, pure aquifer 2,500 feet beneath the Earth's surface. English Mountain Spring Water is the first water I had ever tasted with zero aftertaste. It is clean, it is pure, and their pipes catch it. Before, I mean, they, their pipes go down into the ground and they catch the water before it ever touches the surface. And they shoot it straight from those pipes, straight from the source down in the ground, all the way into their bottling room, which is only a few hundred yards away. It is a remarkable facility, a remarkable setup, and truly, truly good water. English Mountain Spring Water, they can deliver to your home or to your office. Go to their website and check that out and figure out I and mean, find out how you can get them to provide you with a sample so you can test it and order it for yourself. English Mountain Spring Water. Okay, I am always asked, why don't you cover this? Why don't you cover that? Why don't you cover uh, Lady Falls? Why don't, you cover, why don't you cover? I had a buddy of mine send me a thing the other day with a good track idea. Now, that is a good idea. But the reason I don't cover all those things is you don't watch. Uh, we talk football and men's basketball here, the revenue sports, and whenever I talk about anything else, I can watch the ratings do that. So I typically don't go in other directions. We've made exceptions, like when the Lady Vols have a coaching change or a Final Four run. Okay, uh, Softball, when Monica Abbott were here, was here and it became the talk of the town that first year, and I think that's what you're seeing with baseball right now. You had somebody pay $300 for a ticket to go watch Tennessee, number three in the nation, knock off number two Vanderbilt, an exciting game yesterday. It has kind of caught the imagination of the town right now. Mm -hmm. the, the bandwagon, and I think it's aided by the fact that Tennessee stinks in a lot of other sports <laughs> right now. So just your thoughts on the job Tony Vitello has done to put Tennessee on the national radar and also get more people around here to start paying attention and tuning into games. Yeah, I think Tennessee fans are hungry because of the, the, the big issues with football and the disappointment with basketball. And this baseball team is really good. It has personality. They're playing in big games. This, it's, it's a home series, which helps. But it's a home series against Vanderbilt, which Tennessee fans hate. Yeah. And they're really good. They're one of the top programs in the country. But Tennessee baseball has given fans a reason to get excited. Well, Tony Vitale has done a tremendous job. And John Curry deserves credit for hiring him. And that baseball game this, this weekend, it's, it's the... Other than women's basketball, it's the only time that Tennessee has hosted a top three matchup of anybody. Football has never done it in Knoxville. No other sports have done it. That tells you that they're in pretty high cotton. But this is an exciting team to watch. They're fun to watch. That baseball game yesterday was fantastic with Evan Russell hitting that grand slam in the eighth. Three home run game is the only Tennessee player to ever have three homers in a game. I think Vitello and that crew have done a marvelous job. And, and as y'all are talking about, this, the Vol Nation is hungry yeah. for something to cheer about because there hasn't been a lot of success in other sports, and Tony Vitello is, de Vitello is delivering that. And one of the great things is the sum is better than the parts. I mean, Tennessee yeah. is not going to wow you, you know, with a batting lineup. Evan Russell, we talk about, now he's like Evan Legend. He's a 200 hitter. Now he's the first hitter in school history to have three home runs twice in a season. And the grand slam and the way that unfolded, John, I thought it was the most compelling sporting event on TV yesterday and one of the greatest games I've seen. The way Tennessee come back after kind of squandering the lead with the throwing error, a lot of teams are done. Yeah. But Tennessee keeps finding a way. Let's go five, five runs on three hits. They'll, they'll do this, do that. So, I mean, and I hope they reward their coach, the school, and make sure he stays there for as long as they can. Well, here's the thing. I think a lot of what's going to be tied to not only keeping it will not only be his salary but also facilities he, vitello has done this with arguably the worst or 13th worst facilities in the conference uh, that's, that's you don't have things to sell over there it's a it's a bad situation at the moment and for him to have accomplished what he accomplished i thought dave serrano checked all the boxes i thought that was the guy that was going to get it done right. didn't and I thought, well, you're just rolling the dice here with another new guy who knows what he can do. You're right. Great hire from John Curry. Philip Fulmer should write him a thank you note of $1.4 million and send it over <laughs> there. Uh, your thoughts, though, on his future? We only got about 30 seconds or so. Do you think Tennessee is going to be able to wow him enough to keep him? Not only salary, but promises of the future and then part of that rides on the the smoky stadium downtown and this I'm happy bingo you hit yeah. it I think if they get that facility and they're able to play there's talk about SEC games at an 8,000 seat arena downtown your non-conference games could be at home I think if they take care of that I think he loves it here I really do and there's reason to because of what he's done and hey Tennessee's the one that gave him the chance would he be loyal to that 
I, I don't know, but I think he would. But I think this has been a great marriage between Tennessee and Vitello. Yep. Ten seconds? Yeah, uh, show him the support. Tony Vitello has done better than anybody could have expected when he arrived. So uh, if, if he has the support, I would think he wants to be in Knoxville. Yeah. Uh, it's reminiscent, this run, of the Todd Helton, Bubba Trammell, R.A. Dickey era. Uh, not only because it's good. They've had good teams since then, but that was the first one that really caught people's imagination. And it seems like because it's been so long and they've been down, this one's doing that. Anyway, congratulations to Ball Baseball. We'll see you right back here next Sunday for the Sports Source. Thank you very much for supporting our sponsors.